Welcome to another foundation class with Mathematsoft. My name is Mr. Legend, and today we'll be discussing difference of two squares. Difference of two squares, you will come across this a lot in mathematics, especially when you are working uh, on uh, questions under algebraic fractions. So you need to have this skill. You need to understand when you see a particular question that is taking the form of difference of two squares. Now in mathematics, let us explain this. When we say sum in mathematics, when you hear this, it means we are referring to what? Plus, which is addition. When you hear the word product, we are referring to multiplication. And when you hear the word difference, what should come to your mind is what? Subtraction. So when you hear difference, it's just the grammar. You just need to understand what it means. Difference, that subtraction of two squares. When two squares are subtracted from each other, that's what we are talking about. What are the squares? Okay, if you have 2 raised to power 2, this is a square. 5 raised to power 2, this is a square. Okay, when the power of a number is 2, we say that what? It is a square. So this is 2 squared, this is 5 squared. When the power or index or exponent of a number or an expression or a linear expression is 2. So we say that what? It is what? It's a square. What is a square of uh, 2? 2 raised to power 2 will give us 4. 5 raised to power 2 will give us 25. So difference of 2 square means that if we have something like this, 5 square minus 2 square, this is difference, subtraction of 2 squares. This is a square and this is another square. Two numbers that have what? Power of 2. This is a square. This is a square. Difference of 2 squares. So anytime you see something of this form in mathematics, then you know that what? You are actually dealing with difference of two squares. And it will come handy to help you split down that kind of expression so easily. So let's see the form of difference of two squares. We usually represent it by A and B. So when you have difference of two squares in this form, we say that what? You can express it as what? A plus B bracket A minus B. Now, this is not just an assumption. This is something that you can also prove. And we are going to do that, you will see now. If we have A plus B and we have A minus B, let us try to expand this and see what we are going to get. A plus B bracket A minus B. A multiplied by A will give us A squared. A times minus B will give us minus AB plus B times A will give us plus AB plus B times minus B, plus times minus will give us minus, B times B will give us B squared. So A squared minus AB plus AB, we cancel out. Minus AB plus AB, we cancel out. And what will remain is minus B squared. Now compare this and this. You will see that we come back to this. In other words, it means that this here is equals to this. So anytime you see a question or any expression that appear in two square like this, just take the first one, A minus B, okay, and the other one multiply by what? A plus B. So you can always write it in that form. For example, if I have maybe a question that's something like this, A square minus 1. 1 on its own is also a perfect square because square root of 1 will give you 1. So you can easily say, this will become a squared minus 1 squared. Of course, 1 squared will still give you 1. So you can, this answer here, in the option you may not see this. What you will see is a plus 1, okay, bracket a minus 1. Because this, this is equals to this. What I mean is that a squared minus 1 is equals to a plus 1 bracket a minus 1 according to difference of 2 squared because if you expand this just like I did here you always get here 
okay so difference of two square when you see a question like that you'll be able to recognize it you may also have a square minus four of course what should come to your mind is that you can split this down as a square minus two square you will immediately you see four any perfect square here that's your focus if you already see squared on a particular number here just look for the perfect square that you have in that place. if it's a perfect square and minus is separating them that is difference of two square you recognize it immediately and the answer of this now will be a plus two bracket a minus two this is what you will have in the option if it's an objective and if it's in theory you will mean have to express it like this before you can simplify if i also have a minus a square minus 9 b square sometimes you have something like this they want to get you confused but no there's no confusion the 9 here can be expressed as what 3 square so we have a square minus 3 square b square okay this is a multiplication and a squared minus since both of them have square i can group them like 3b squared of course 3 square will still give you this this bracket means that the square belongs to everything inside here 3 square will still give you 9 b square will still give you what b square so you can see now you already have it as 3b is just one and a is just one so a square minus 3b square is what you have now so it has become difference of two square you just say a plus 3b bracket a minus 3b okay in subsequent uh, classes we will try to search out some questions where we may have to apply these uh, difference of two square especially under algebra fractions then you will see the beauty of it but before then you need to get yourself acquainted with difference of two square and recognize it because by the time we are solving those questions i will just be mentioning okay applying difference of two square let your mind go there immediately and then we move along thank you very much for uh being uh, with me on today's class try as much as possible to share out this uh, video with students around you and you also try as much as possible to learn this by heart it is a very good skill in solving mathematics world problems i'll see you in another class god bless you bye for now